Well, today is the day many people here in Eastern North Carolina say they look forward to all year long. Local fans are excited for Pirate Baseball and so are businesses. Not on your sides, Abigail Velez has more about opening day in Greenville. The start of ECU baseball could mean booming business for some nearby establishments and here at Tiebreakers, they're excited to hear that Pirate Ball is back. We've had the busiest Saturday we've had since football season ended, so it's going to be very good for us, I think. And, you know, one of the good things is, too, is that, you know, being that it's a family environment, you know, you can bring the kids, so, you know, you don't have to feel like you're, you know, going out of your way to make a family trip out of it, too. Fans say a comfortable environment like tiebreakers makes for a great way to watch pirate baseball. Uh, tiebreakers is a great atmosphere to watch sports anyways, but it's a great pirate place and um, to be able to catch the game here early and then try to go out to the game a little bit later when it warms up a little bit. Baseball is a big part of my life and pirate baseball is a huge part of my life. And every year it gets closer and closer. You get the tingling feeling in your uh, stomach. You know, uh, pirate baseball's here. Baseball season's here. The message was clear at tiebreakers this weekend and that message is... Go pirates, baby. Uh, no, go pirates. Go pirates. Go Pirates! Opening day of ECU baseball was postponed due to inclement weather, but here at Tiebreakers, they say they are prepared to weather any storm this baseball season. In Greenville, Abigail Velez, 9 on your side.